hey can can I talk to you for a second I I promise it won't take long it's it's been a while hasn't it I I've been distant for the past year or so you have every right to be angry I wouldn't blame you that's why I came to see you because I want you to tell me what you really feel if if you want to transfer me or let me go that's completely fine I would understand you wouldn't get anything out of it though <laughs> what do I mean <laughs> well nobody talks about it but I guess I have to there is a system where servants and butlers are ranked the higher the rank the more you're worth A is a million coins B is 500 coins and C is 100 front coins every servant has a ranking system every servant has a worth but I didn't get that I didn't get ranked they told me straight away I was unable to be ranked so therefore I was worth nothing and because I was worth nothing the owners that hired me could do whatever they want so I got beaten burned even starved to death at one point I got beaten so bad I thought I was going to die every owner was awful the last owner I had was the worst he did everything but twice as much I didn't have a bed I didn't eat for months or weeks and as soon as I did eat it was just moldy old bread it's a miracle that I'm still alive that's why I'm shocked when I first came to you I thought it's going to be another another owner who is going to torture but you didn't I remember sitting on the cold wet floor outside your doorstep and the first word that you ever said to me was get up you held your hand out and you helped me up and when I looked up at you I saw the kindness in your eyes I've 
never had that before. I remember the first week I was with you. <laughs> I broke one of your favorite cups. I I got on my hands and knees and swept it up. When you came in, you saw me in tears, shook, thinking, this is it. This is the last straw. But you helped me. You helped me pick up the pieces. I was surprised. No one would have even helped me. And as soon as soon that I realized I I found happiness. You gave me a bed with with real pillows. Real sheets. You 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 gave me food to eat table full but in my mind I always felt that was worth nothing I always felt I have no purpose in life so I'm here to tell you that if if you gonna send me away I wouldn't hesitate I wouldn't beg to let me stay but I don't want to go in my heart I don't want to go so don't send me away With you, I feel like I am worth something. Something more. And I feel more than just a servant to you. I feel a connection. Please. Please don't send me away. I saw the paperwork. You're going to send me to another mansion. Please don't. I'll, I'll do anything. I won't talk back to you anymore. I won't. I won't get into trouble. Just don't send me away. I love you. You won't. Thank God. I'll... I'll promise... I'll make up to you. Um... I'll... get back to work then. Thank you. Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching this video and I hope you did enjoy it. It was a random one, I know, but I hope it was entertaining nonetheless. Also, thank you for 2,000 subscribers. That's that's amazing. I wouldn't have dreamed to have even that many, <laughs> to be honest. What a better way to celebrate 2,000 subscribers with one of the first series I have ever done, and that was Shy Butler Roleplay. <laughs> I wanted to finish this series off on a high note, so that's why I chose this time. <laughs> I know of you waiting for that NECA roleplay to come out. Don't worry, I'm planning on to do another NECA boy roleplay. <laughs> Don't you worry. Anyway, thank you again, and I'll see you in the next one.